What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ben Wright Reactions. Uh, today we're doing some more of an idiot abroad. Looks like the guys are sending Carl to Brazil this time. Uh, hopefully it's during Carnival or something cool like that. Uh, interested to see Carl in South America. So with that, here we go. The seven wonders of the world. Christ the Redeemer. That's the where he's going man. now. The Great Pyramids. Truly man's greatest achievement. But there's one man who sees them differently. The man, the myth, I built a batch the legend. What's been going on? <laughs> Carl Pilkington. Close your mouth. I don't know the politically correct term. Moron. Moron. He is a round, empty-headed chimp like That was gross. Moron. Buffoon. Idiot. Is that normal? And he's a friend. Oh. He's a typical little Englander and he doesn't like going out of his comfort zone. Bollocks are squashed. I just think that it'd be amazing to send him around the world. What we'd like to see is him experience other cultures, other peoples, and see if in any way we can change his outlook on the world. Ooh. I've been to many exotic places. I genuinely think travel uh, broadens the mind. I want him to hate it. I want him to hate every minute of Torture. it for my own amusement. Right. The lights are changing. Right. And our amusement. Nothing is funnier than Carl in a corner being poked by a stick. It I is pretty funny. Stick. And now I have the mic of Sky behind me. Shit. This is one of the funniest, most expensive oh. practical jokes Carl. I've ever done. And it's going to be great. Just let me go. Oh. Jesus Christ. What trouble can they get into in Brazil? What will they have Carl, Carl doing? Sending you to see Christ the Redeemer. Magnificent religious symbol that towers down over Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. What's your first thoughts of it? Look how big that statue is. I just think of the people it's who huge. live in Rio, right? They've got that there. Every day when they leave the house, they see it. Yeah. Oh, it's there again. Sick of seeing it. It's like a pylon to them, that. Get sick of it. I doubt it. Um, <laughs> it's a good place to meet. You know, it's you, you know you can see it from everywhere. Yeah, I don't think it was built as a rendezvous point. To be no. fair, I think it's also something to do with the spirituality of the. Go country, meet at the statue. It's not just that that you'll be seeing. You'll be experiencing Brazil as well, a magnificent country. You know, the carnival's going to be on when you're there. Uh, okay. Games, isn't it? Is does that is is do you do you feel like you have to be part of that to enjoy it, or do you feel left out? If you're I'm not stunned. Of, well, yes. I don't, I, he's so confused because I don't think Rio Carnival is known specifically for its gay fans. I hate there are a, there are a lot of no. men with tans and little posing pouches. Listen, if you want to see a guy in his speedos and nothing pouches. else, this is the place to go, Carl. If that's what mm, that's what I mean. I'm not really into that. Can we make a note to make sure that we can do we, get him can in a will thong? Will you please at least get in the spirit, Carl, in a speedo? No, I'm not. I'm not doing anything that I wouldn't do, normally do on holiday. No, but you're, then it's oh, just oh, playing oh, 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 oh. Up. when you're on the beach, you're in trunks, aren't you? No, I don't. I just wear shorts. So, how short? How short? What's the shortest shorts Very you'd be willing short. to wear? Would you wear hot pants? No, there's no need for that. There's no need. No need no. to wear trunks like that. No, yes, I'm there is. I'm not doing anything for the cameras. I'm not Red braces? Out. I'm just Red... going to go. I'm going to go and look at this. That's what. That's all I'm doing. I don't need to go to the gay parade. There's no need. That's not, not a gay the parade. Gay parade. Mm. It's carnival. Enjoy, enjoy it. It's like Mardi Gras. I would like to go to Brazil. This is the hottest I've ever experienced, this. Absolutely. I don't know if you see that. Ringing. <laughs> God. Is that the Jesus thing up there, Chris? Do you see all right on that hill? Yeah, that's the Jesus thing. <laughs> the Jesus thing. As big thing. as I thought it would be. What do you think of this? This is uh, Copacabana Beach. Cup right, I mean, I know I didn't come for that. I meant to be looking at the, the Jesus thing, but I mean, you're this in makes Brazil, the Jesus dude. thing better, doesn't it? You know, that's like a nice little added extra. You're on the beach. Have a look up. There it is. What that thing that's in the films? Oh, aye. going swimming again. <sighs> Still hot though, isn't it? I mean, is it normal to have sweaty ears? I've never no. had a sweaty ear in my life. It's not normal. I mean, they're not, they're not even doing anything, and they're hot. 
you're picking it. With your sweaty hand. I've just got to get to the place that Ricky and Steve have sorted out for me to stay at. I don't know uh -oh. anything about it other than um, they said that it was a good place to meet people. I don't know what that means. Lots of traffic. Hi. I'm Welcome Carl. to Pirates of Ipanema. So this is your gaff, is it? Yeah. Let's go, man. This is a kitchen, and when you cook anything, you try to keep clean in the area, okay? Don't tell me that. Tell the last fellow who was <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this normally, it's a, it's a place for a pool table, but in carnival, man, stay crazy with the 100 persons inside of the house. Okay, and the people sleep in their mattress. It's going to be 100 people in there. Yeah, people sleep there, man. That's going to be cheaper, wild. But sleep there because it's crazy. And this is your dorm. You stay here, close off the window. Oh, he's going to hate this. How much, gonna is be... How much is it normally to stay here for a night? Four pounds, point five. Have you got anything for about six quid? What? That's a little bit better. Anything for just a little bit, dear, or just a little bit? Just around six or seven pounds no man no we no. don't have right. no peace and quiet for you carl he's roughing it then he's roughing it this is better a get ready to party it. this is just scruffy bastards you're in Sorry. for a wild Still. night four quid i think it's overpriced You are having a laugh. I mean, do we have to listen to that? Well, Ricky and Steve thought you needed to socialise with other people, so that's why I they put you... I socialising. I don't do that. I'm just not that sort of person. I'm old in my age now. You know, I've got enough friends. I've always said you only need seven mates to get you through life. That's it. That's why, you know, I've mentioned Snow White with the midgets. If you had them all covered in seven. Same thing again with friends. I've just found out okay. that the carnivals on. Interesting theory. Uh, the big dance thing that they do in Brazil every year. Ricky and Steve probably It's like Mardi Gras. That's why they've sent me here this time of year, you know, because they know I don't like crowds. They know I don't like parties. So to them, this is hilarious. Okay. Oh, hey, Carl. We've sorted out a local fella called a Hickey who's going to teach me how to do the samba. He's, okay. He's going to pick me up on his motorbike. Oh, you know, I came to dance. Jesus. Hanging on for dear life. I'd rather just walk, to be honest, than this. No, you wouldn't. Where have they we taken have to him? To you to do this big parade, okay? So first of all, we should what, do a little. What, what, what do you mean? We are going to parade with this big school of samba. Well, I'm going to be doing it in uh -oh. front of thousands of people, camera, and everything okay. else. Okay. It's going to be quite making uh, dance performance, like a uh -oh. Okay, you there. Here. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Oh, there you go. Cha, 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 cha. Front, back, cha, cha, cha. Cha. No, no, it's no, 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 no. Is there no area where you've just got a load of people who aren't very good, but you let them take part because they're it's simple or something? Just put no. me with them. I'm pushing you to the higher level. That's what you're gonna wear in this your headdress. Uh, okay. You're just gonna look lovely in this. Oh, you're just perfect. Is everyone gonna be wearing this? Everyone's gonna yeah, be wearing Yeah, probably. This. Not ready for this. Everybody in your group. I mean, this is like their World Cup final, isn't it? And you wouldn't you wouldn't say, oh, Carl likes a game of footy, stick him in goal. I doubt that. They should you not are be anywhere in near it. Brazil's kind of used to the World Cup final. What do you think? Andy Pandy on crack. Fair. All right, let's see this dance. I mean, I'm in Rio, right? I'm meant to be seeing Christ the Redeemer. 
So what am I doing dressed up like a clown taking part in a carnival? I mean, what am I meant to get out of this? Have fun, Carl. Oh, Come yes. on. It's not a good sign, is it? I've got shit on it and the thing's coming off. Like actual shit? I'm sure one day I'll look back at this and go, oh, I was in the carnival. This yeah. is happening now. I'm sort of thinking, I'm in the carnival now. Like, what am I doing here? That's cool. Wow. I mean, when a hickey said, you know, we were going to a samba drone, I pictured something, just something better than this, really. I mean, what, what is this? Better in than the that? Nowhere, it's like a trading estate, isn't it? Uh, with a bit of kitchen lino on the road for people to dance down. People sat either side on the chairs. I mean, it's, wow. it's nothing special, is it? What are you Our talking about? Starts, I think three or four floats that way. So Everything's really, I special. Be any further back. I mean, it's, it's almost like being at the back of uh, the London Marathon. By the time I go over the end line, people are at home in bed. Yeah, I might as well be dressed as a rhino in a fun run. I feel like that. It's I mean, probably better for you like anyway, a Carl. Of women now, you know, I can't ask for more really. I'm right at the back, and with some 70-year-olds. If I can't look good in this, I shouldn't be here. Here we go. They're gonna help it, yes, All right, just getting into it. Oh, they're being judged. Oh, I'm knackered, man, I'm knackered. He's running out of gas. Oh, look at blister. Bloody hell. I don't know if she's in the carnival or just earning a few quid at this time of night. I've no idea. I mean, Probably if I've got blisters on my feet, I dread to think what an arse is like. Oh, fucking hell. Parade injury. Yeah, there's going to be people everywhere here. He's never going to sleep. Gonna go for a wash. Ah, forget it. Not worth it, is it? You've seen the mattress. <laughs> Not worth it. You've seen the toilets. It's the equivalent of having one of those sort of Romanians that traffic lights clean your windscreen. They don't do a good job because they can't. They've got some dirty water and a dirty sponge. Same as in there. But uh, like I say, I can't sleep anywhere tonight. Yeah, you're not sleeping tonight, buddy. No, it's embarrassing, isn't it? I'm like, I could be some of their dads. Go party, Carl, come on. You're like your dad going to a party that you're having and stuff. I mean, I'm hoping that they kind of think I am old, and at least when they come back up here later, they might be quiet, don't wake him up, he's old. I doubt it. I'd be happier in an old people's home. Probably. Seriously. But all have bed, fun, no? Carl. Party pooper. Sleep in this. I can't do this. Seriously. Everybody's being quiet it. now. I'm not letting Ricky and Steve sort of do this because that isn't what it's about. Is he sneaking away? Because I tell you what, they wouldn't do it. Well, mate, 
No, that's why they're making you do it. Rick and Steve wouldn't be doing it. You know what I mean? There's no way Steve could hack it here. He goes home to his mum and dad's when he's got a cold. You know that? Right, my hard ass. I mean, he probably wouldn't either. Thing is, first huge. time I've seen that since I've uh, since I've been here. I don't even get the impression they're that religious here, to be honest. I suppose with uh, a lot of religious people, it's it's about covering up, isn't it, and being quiet, you know, not being sexy. Whereas here, you know, you, you feel like you've been out with some of the women, you've seen that much of them. You know, everything's on show, isn't it? There's nothing left to the imagination here. I mean, look at him. No shame. Just. Just nipping out for a loaf. <laughs> we need to get Carl one of those. Normally wearing more than that, just in case something happens in the night, a fire alarm goes off or something, you've got to leave the house. Always prepared. It's mad though, isn't it? Because I'm here in Brazil, you know, to see Christ the Redeemer, right? the wonder of the world, the reason why I'm meant to be here. And yet Rick and Steve are saying, oh, don't be worrying about that yet. We've got some other plans for you. You know, get down to the beach. I'm and sure they do. Fella. His name's Celso, you know, he's, he's going to show you around the place. It's you. Excuse me, yeah. He's, How are you? So, Sel. I'm Celso. How are Celso. you? Nice to meeting you. How are you okay. doing? I'm very well, thank you. Want to you. sit down? No, I don't want to sit down. I, I just want to give you something that the first contact, we always have to wear it. First contact? Condoms. I've never had that as a gift on oh, a yeah, first sure. meeting before. Yeah, sure. A little sure. bit forward. Yeah. <laughs> Where are they taking him? Sit down. Tell me what's going on. You will see in a minute. Why is he no other men in here? Why is he no other men? He's gonna get well, waxed. Not in a funny way. Yeah, they, they, they have a oh, here, no. but they have a lot of men that come here too. You've oh, known me now for no. a bit. Will I be happy with this? Wait. He's getting a Brazilian. Well, you know those guys He's that gonna serve, scream. they wax here. Would you like to try? Not really. Do I seem like the sort of bloke who, who has a wax? I'm like an ape. Well, you look you look nice to have a wax. It's gonna work a lot. Yeah, but my girlfriend likes it. She oh, likes it. She? Yeah, she loves it. I she don't know. It. She might like it waxed. I can get out while you get undressed if you want. No, no. Why don't you try even on your, on your arms a little bit? I feel much better without a hair. Yeah. Is he gonna do it? Well, that bit you're having done there, I wouldn't mind getting that done because sometimes I have to tuck it in my pants. That's a sign what? it's a bit too long, isn't it? When you have to start tucking it in. Oh, Jesus, it's hot. Relax. If you don't relax, you won't enjoy it. Oh, Jesus, that's no, she, bad, that. She did, she that didn't. is bad. She did, she took a bit then. No, just a little bit, just to see if it's ready. Uh, she got a streak. Oh, Jesus. Is it bleeding? Uh, uh, there is a. There is two other parts. If I left it, would it look stupid? Yes. No, it's not good. It seems that you have something here. In she shouldn't be laughing, to be honest. Oh, gee. No. Oh, it looks so clean. Yeah. Just that yeah. one spot, though. Nice. Really nice. I suppose it's good for me to meet different kinds of people. Well, at least they didn't give him the no full Brazilian. Mates who are all the same. That would have been funny. Let's see some boom boom. Something for the beach. What do you think? I I don't think this is necessary. I mean, Celso's different to me other mates. The garden. He'd be like, you know, a new addition. Would you like to see some of these over there in front? To see each one fits on you? No, honestly, I don't, I don't want a pair. This is what Ricky There's wants. No with these. Do you know what I mean? That's all you need. Oh, Ricky's gonna yell at him. How are we doing? Uh, I don't know if I'm seeing the real Brazil, to be honest. Yeah, you are. I mean, right. I, oh. I want to get the wrong country. No, I just mean in terms of like, you know, what I've been up to. Tall and thin and young and handsome, the boy from me, Panima goes walking in. When he passes, each one he passes goes, oh, here I am. How do I look? Oh, Carl. 
No, well, he, he, he bought me some. Yeah, that's not... Come on, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> just try it. Just, I don't know, just a little silk pouch or something, a little red stacking pouch. I don't, I don't understand why you need that much of a tan. When I get home, I won't, I won't be saying, look at the colour of me, I'm whipping my arse out. Just the face. <laughs> Are you sure? Feeling hot, aren't you? Because well, I'm not used you're to this. My feet are killing me. How about the the thing that I bought you yesterday? Don't you feel comfortable now that it's so hot to wear it? Because I'm gonna wear mine. Yeah, he's not going to. Well, they'd see me ass and they'd be looking at it and going, "Oh, look at the state of him." Nobody's <laughs> gonna look at you. They are. They are. <laughs> I have to tell you a story about this part of the beach. On the 70s, all the artists used to come here to smoke marijuana and do this kind of stuff. And then since then, this part of the beach become a very famous and a gay beat too. And I would like to sit down because I'm tired. Well, we've been walking miles. Just keep going for another couple of minutes. Oh, I'm so tired. Come on. I would like to sit down. It's, I mean, it's good seeing this. It's going to leave Carl let's here. Keep walking. Bloody hell, we're only another two minutes, we'll be out of it. Come on. We can, but I would like to sit down. Don't worry about it. It's a beach like any other beach. Yeah, but it's, I honestly, do you know what I said about That's being so closed nice. in? I love this, this weather. Yeah, I'm not enjoying oh, this it. This wind, much, so delicious. No, there, there is a chair for us. Not, not, no. honestly, I need a here. chair. Me dá a cadeira, minha linda, por favor. Obrigado, sim. So, ah, delicious. He gave beach. him her chair? Lovely. Oh, I'm sorry, but I have to take my take, my, sh my shirt off because it's too cold. Are you, are you gay or...? What do you think? It's hard to tell. Hmm? It's hard to tell. No, it's not, Carl. I think there's a friend of mine. Not that much to see you again. Are you going to throw a show for us today? Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, Marcelo. Marcelo. I'm nice Carl. Nice to meet you. Hi, Carl. How are you doing? Welcome to Rio. You're happy. But look, you're frying <laughs> over there. No, I'm fine. Because I've got, I've got a few. I've got you protection. Fine. I've got you can't be no, fine. Honestly, with all clothes in Rio de Janeiro. It's like please your ego. You have novelty value. You also whitey and you get pinky. It's a lovely cuddler. Like really, really lovely. Oh, he's so from everyone else, people like the difference. So why do you have to hide your beauty? Just, I keep it for my girlfriend. A girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean the others? What others? What do you mean the rest of humanity? You just need to be looked at. This is what the beach is all about. It's not. That's why I don't come here that much. I don't like being looked at. I just thought a quiet bit. If let's go for a quiet walk. Said, let's I'd love a quiet walk. Really? Look at this. Uh oh. I'm gonna have some some massage, and I would like you guys to join me. No, I watch. I don't need one. Okay. Okay. Ooh, thank you. Good lord. Seeing people have a back rub. Fucking hell. Just right on the beach. Wow. I'll tell you what, he should have had his arse done yesterday, shouldn't he? He had his back and his front done. Look at that there. Oh, you know, God. to think that earlier on, you know, I was asking whether he's gay or not. I feel a bit daft now. Yeah, you should. I mean, I don't want to moan, do you know what I mean? I know I'm quite lucky to do what I'm doing, but I thought the idea was that Ricky and Steve wanted me to broaden my mind, that's what this is all about, but being in that carnival yesterday, that, that didn't broaden my mind, did it? That just knackered my legs up. You know, I'm here to see Christ the Redeemer, the wonder of the world, why can't I just see that and go home? But now they're calling up, saying, oh, why, why don't you go and see a block party? It just Where seems are like they a party for any occasion, really. It doesn't have to be your birthday, it's just, it's a Wednesday, let's have a, let's have a get-together. So, uh, yeah, that's what a block party is. Just going along. If Carl liked the party, you know, he'd be having like a blast. Crowds, but... But apparently, you get quite busy. Wow, that's a block party. 
closest thing I've probably done to this block party is when I was a kid and it was a Queen's Jubilee. And like, you know, people turned up on a street, you brought your own food, everyone had a good time and went home. I didn't enjoy that. I remember sort of my mum being annoyed that Scruffy Sandra turned up and ate a load of trifles and you didn't bring anything. Scruffy Sandra. Basically a big queue with someone playing some music. Episodes I don't know what I'm queuing for. And I ate sort of silly weeks and stuff. I mean maybe I'm miserable. It's carnival, maybe I'm man. Carl, have fun. Enjoying it. But if I'm not enjoying it, I shouldn't be here. I know this isn't for me. My ears just haven't stopped since I've been here. I get off the plane, they were sweating. I've never had sweaty ears. And since then they've been overworked with constant you know, drums, singing, whistles, chanting, dogs, <laughs> helicopters, gays. Warm massage for your ego. Gays wouldn't normally be on that list, but the one I met here just wouldn't shut up. Yeah, they're trying to get you, Carl. Great place to live if you're deaf. That's what I'd say about Rio. Lovely and relaxing if you're deaf. Great place to live if you're deaf. Wow, Carl, you are not fun at parties. Oh, I left that in the end, did my head in. You left it? Yeah, I can't, it was ridiculous. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not that fussy in that, but it, it was minging. It was underpants hanging on the end of my bed and they weren't even mine. <laughs> well, I've got a bit of good news for you. Party house. We've already met Celso. He has personally invited you to stay with him in his place. Oh, he has. Come on, there. Spend the night with him. Have a great time. But what? What's what's wow. the point of this? Seriously. But you already got on with it. We've already got mate. You don't turn down hospitality like that. Not I wouldn't go like that. If someone offers you a bed for the night, you take it, my friend. Oh, treat it like a dandy. You know, you don't have to defend yeah. the person who went to be. That in that gay term, that. Like. I've heard that's a gay term, B and B, for bum and bollocks. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll do it. In this case, yeah, probably. I, mean, I know his, his, his house is going to be nice than where I am now. But what am I doing with him? Is it a night in? Can we just have a game of cards or. Have a game of cards! What are you doing? You're going in there, having a bed for the night. Okay. So I'm glad you decided to stay. Hey, where are you? Come in. Here in Brazil, we have a tradition. When a friend or, or someone comes to your place, this person has to sleep on your bed. Because this is tradition, when you receive a I've friend... I've never heard of this tradition. Yeah, but this is in Brazil. This isn't here in Brazil. Sleep even, in your bed? Even, yeah. I don't want to I think he likes Carl. Well, that's that's the, the, the tradition yeah, in Brazil. Yeah, but I don't know about the tradition, so keep well, it to yourself. that's what I'm telling you. That's the way to say that you're welcome to my place. This is a lot of kit you're keeping. Yeah. And that's where I sleep. So where are you, where are you gonna go? I, I have to work. I'll be back late tonight. Okay. When Steve said go and stay, I did expect something different. I thought it'd be a bigger place. I mean, I ate, I ate anything that's overcrowded. Do? I can't even think straight. I mean, for me, popping that up there, pop it in the bin. It's just like, look, there's a hole there, shove it in. That seems to be his thing in life. If there's a hole, pop something in it. And it's nothing to do what with anything, the but world. this is mental. I think it's a tradition that you should do if you've got the room for it. I don't even like this, I'm just having it because again I feel guilty. I'm just doing all stuff to please the fella who I don't even know. He doesn't even tell me what he does and stuff. Are you about to find out? Oh Jesus, what was that? Here I am. How are you? May I sit down? Sit down, yeah. With me? Ah. Oh. I'm ready to go to jail. Does he recognize this him? This is the last thing you should know about me. I'm a female impersonator. Close your mouth. This is my <laughs> name. <laughs> As a female impersonator, my name is Lorna Washington. <laughs> Why so wow. surprised? It's just weird. It's weird. Uh... The way I behave, you know. I don't, no, no. I don't, I don't... No, just sort of looking at you, hearing the voice coming out that I know. Oh, yeah? But it's like you've had Wurzel Gummidge sort of change the head. Change the heads. It's a little bit freaky. Okay. Be yourself comfortable. Be at home. You're home. I'm leaving. All right. Bye. Have a nice night. I'll see you when you get back. Okay. Odd. 
is it normal this this Brazilian tradition of making everyone feel welcome does that still count when you say I want you to stay but I'm going out I don't see how that that counts <laughs> would you rather him be there in bed with you I, I don't know what's going on out there Things like that freak me out. That's that's weird. I'd wake up in the night with that laughing at me or something. It's creepy. Yeah, like Chucky. I've been in the toilet and there's a couple of cockroaches. I know we're in Brazil, they're everywhere, but I don't like them. Nobody does. I can't see him now. Don't worry about it. So he's got two fridges to put place in. I'm cooking, I'm cooking. I need a garlic. Where's the garlic? Is it in that one, that one? No, it's not. It's down here in the corner with a cockroach next to it. Look at that down there. I've heard that cockroaches I like the, the toughest thing that's on the planet. They say, like, if there's a nuclear bomb, they'll, they do they'll say carry that. on living. Yeah, in Celso's kitchen, dead. I mean, it's a bit rude, isn't it, sort of looking at his house whilst he's out. Well, you put it like that, out, I mean... It's his house. I said it all there. It's his house, and he's not here. I don't think we should stay. Where are you going to go? Hiya, Celso. It's Carl. Uh, we haven't got your mobile phone number, so we've had to call your home number. Um, even though we're still sat here. But we're about to leave because it's, it's too noisy. Hope your Friday night was good. Too noisy? Thanks for having us around. Honestly, I don't know why he invited me round. Because it's a bit weird, isn't it, that he gets me round and then he goes out. The only thing I can think of is Carl you know, sneaking away again. Neighborhood and he's thinking, oh, I'll get Carl round, you know, he can be a bit of security. That's all I can think of. Ah, I just want to go to a, a quiet beach, really. Get away from it all. Because it's, uh, it's wearing me out. Carl really hates people. That it's looks just nice. been a, a full-on week, hasn't it? You know, what with the carnival and then the block party and that late night at Celso's and stuff. Do you know what I mean? There's it, been nothing relaxing about it, has there? They're trying to keep you on it. It's not holiday. I thought it was. That's why I took the job on, to be honest. But uh, it's a good beach. Yeah. The sea's a bit active. I wouldn't get in that. But yeah, other than that, it's, it's nice enough. I worry that, you know, if there's more people turning up, it's not that big. And what will be here if it's crowded? Oh, God. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, oh, you know. I can never enjoy anything, can Pets. I? Pets. Is, is, is that the plan, to never let me just have a normal, nice day? You've always got a... That is the plan, it seems like. What do you mean? Well, it's, it's obviously some nudist beach, isn't it? Is it? I'm not... Oh. Uh, yeah. You know, I didn't put trunks on, did I? They're not going to walk around with me cock and bollocks out. They sent him to a nude beach. It's not even that hot wow. yet. He's kept his T-shirt on, but his pants, a little bit hot down there, got to whip them off. Look, bending over now for a... I've never seen anyone bend over so much as him. Bloody hell. About to get a packed full beach here. How are you doing? I'm alright, yeah. Not bad. Okay, but here in this beach you have to remove your clothes. It's a naturism beach. What, if I want to stay here I have to take them off? Yeah. These are the rules? Yeah, it's the rules of this beach. Does he stay the or does he go? The one that's quite interesting is if, um, if a male beachgoer gets a bit sort of excited, go into the sea, it says, until it calms down. But that's embarrassing because that means everyone knows what's happening. If you suddenly just suddenly run into the sea and stand there looking round, I wonder if these two women here, it's their job to be on here so it doesn't happen as much. It's like a little, you know... A safety thing Deterrent. to stop it happening. I haven't seen one fella run in there and, and look worried. Oh, Carl. What are we doing? He's been going down the beach. We can't be moaning about that, then. Well, 
I haven't finished. It was a uh, nudist beach. <laughs> the obviously yeah. didn't stay. You know, I, I didn't. I didn't like it. I was felt a bit uncomfortable there. And old people's stuff is because they're doing that all yeah. the time. It's all like Come on. leather. It's not about being nude and being free and that. They just don't like wearing pants. That's the end of it. The pant haters. I just think they like their knob out, don't they? I don't yeah. know why they don't just cut a little um, hole in a pair of trousers. Well, oh, they do, don't they? A lot of them yeah. the out, don't they? I've seen that. Yeah, I saw that at the, uh, at the carnival. He was an arse on show. I don't know who, who was going to watch this. But what's the rating time going to say? And now, on a Sky One, Carl Pilkington, an idiot who doesn't know anything, walking around looking at old men's knobs. I mean... Well. I don't know. It's not going to be a great write-up, is it? Well... Yeah, it's, it's... It's not, I mean, Sky One normally put that sort of shite out. I don't think it's, uh That's a good advert. Well, there's a... Yeah, OK. So, you well, know... But got, they we, did. We've, uh, we've got the trailer. We all watched it. it. Now I've watched it. <laughs> well, I'm going up the mountain today, aren't I, to see the Christ the Redeemer. They're finally going which is to... Which a little bit weird, that they've stuck the statue. it so high up on a mountain out of the way. It's almost like the locals don't want people to see it. I mean, on a cloudy day, you can't. Uh, it's, it's weird. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to go and have a look. Steve sorted out a woman to give me a lift. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go and have a look at it, see if it's any good. You know, I'm here to broaden the mind. I'll give it a go. I'm not, I'm not saying it's going to be rubbish before I've, I've seen it. I, th I sort of think from a distance, Jesus, top of a hill, looking like he's a, you know, about to bungee jump. You pass it, you go, there he is. Great, what else are we About doing? The that's jump. enough, really, for me. Hey, that's cool. Carl? Nice to see you, yeah. nice oh, to see yeah. you too. I'm no. Dolores now. Dolores. Cool, right? Yes. Dolores. So, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this now. The full gate of the right. city. She's driving all over the place. Yeah, you, like, you keep looking there. You look there. alive. Oops. Oops. I've just seen the back of Jesus' yes, head. Look, look at the beautiful. My beautiful man. Okay. The big fella. How many yeah, stars? Yeah, from a tour, 220. Oh, wow. 220 steps, yeah. There he is. There he is. Come here, you're going to sit very well. I will explain you very good. You yeah. are in the top of the world, man. Come, 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 because this is the view, you know. Look what a beautiful. Oh, that's that is an amazing view. view. Yeah, look here, look from here with this light behind. Seems like magic. Look at the face, which is so delicate, so clean. The weight of the statue is 1,145 tons. And it's not there to punish anybody to say, no, it's open arms, blessing the city. Nice woman and everything. But um, it's that thing, isn't it, that she loves it so much that. Yeah, I'm not going to change your mind, I mean, I'm not going to come here and say, you know, it's, it's all right, but it's not that amazing, is it? It's like telling someone that the kid's ugly. It doesn't matter how ugly that kid is. The, the mum and dad love it to bits. OK. And I didn't want to say, but when I was looking up, I thought, the chin looks a bit big. It's, it's like that. <coughs> it, all the rest of it is brilliant. The proportions, his arms and that, his body, but they just need to, to chip away a bit more, I reckon, at the chin. It's a bit sort of Jimmy Illish. Carl's critique. Okay. Say if I get back home and someone says, you've seen uh, Christ Redeem? I go, yeah. And they go, what, what, what's it like? Big chin. I'd probably just say, it's like a, it's like a big ornament. Do you know what I mean? It's like something me, me Aunt Inora would have, sort of next to the telly. But I'd say, if you're going to come up here, it's not about that, it's about that lot. It's about coming up here and seeing all, all of you there. Knock that down. You still get a crowd coming up here. You could stick anything there. I mean, that view stick is amazing. There. And people would come up here. You can charge as much as you like because you've got nowhere else to go. You're trapped. You're dying of thirst. Charge about four quid for a can of Coke. Carl the capitalist. The only mistake I made is I said, like, he had a chin like Jimmy Hill. <laughs> and after that, people told me it's, it's not his chin, it's his beard. They doesn't look yeah. like a beard. So they could have just done with chipping a bit more out, put some, make it look a bit more airy. I was saying that, there's so many sort of flying ants around there. I imagine the workers going, I've had enough of this. Flying does that look ants. like a bird? Yeah, it does, Bob, let's go. Not hanging around here. 
That ruined it a bit. I don't know why there's so many flying ants up there. Ants shouldn't have wings. I mean, when you no. see them walking, they're all over the place. They sort of go forwards and then come back exactly the same path and shoot off over there and come back again. If they're not good at walking, they're going to be useless with wings. I mean, if I don't like it, there's no point in me Probably. saying, oh, it's magnificent, that. Do you know what I mean? It's just, that's false, isn't it? And that's what I told Steve. And he was going, oh, Carl, you're an idiot. How can you not be blown away by, you know, the wonder of the world? Um, and I said, oh, I think it was the crowd that did me head in. You know, I didn't enjoy it because of all the people up there. So he sorted me out a helicopter ride to see it from That's above. cool at night. He said, that will blow me away. Oh, they're putting him so on a helicopter. In a helicopter. No, no, I've never done it before. So it's just a little bit, you know, nervous about it. It's just you've got no chance, have you? If it goes wrong, yeah, it's not like a plane that glides. I'd be a little nervous drops. about a helicopter. It's almost, too. It shouldn't be in the air, really. Should have left a message for Suzanne, really, but. Do you want to say a quick word? No, I'll leave it. She gets a load of money anyway, doesn't she, if it all goes wrong? Oh. Well, there's that. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm sneaking round the back of him. That's an amazing view too. Ooh. Now you've really seen it. Brilliant. Love that. Oh. I've always kind of thought people with money who buy one, you sort of go, absolute knobhead. What do you need one of them for? But it's definitely the best way to get about that. I mean, the landing's a little bit like, oh God. And I, I wasn't really enjoying seeing the, the wonder at the time, because I'm like thinking, am I going to land and all that? But it's, it's brilliant. Best thing, I, mean, I, I reckon I can go home now. That'd what be cool. You went up in a helicopter and you really liked being in a helicopter. Yeah, but... That's, what, that's it, that's, that's the big finale. It's the best part of the whole trip. I just thought you meant, when you said, not the helicopter, that's, I just said I enjoyed it, that's all. Yeah, and the Jesus thing's all right as well. You enjoy the helicopter and the Jesus thing is all right as well. The Jesus Great. thing. The Jesus thing was all right. Well, that's going to do it for Carl's trip to Brazil during a carnival and to go see the Jesus thing, as he called it. Um, they took uh, making Carl uncomfortable to a whole new level there. Um, yeah, maybe a little too much balls and bollocks for me in that episode, but uh, that was all in a, all Ricky's planning to just make Carl blush, apparently, and uh, get a few laughs out of it. Um, yeah, Carl called the whole Jesus thing. He really did enjoy that helicopter ride, though. Um, I think that would be fun as well. Never been in a helicopter. They do kind of freak me out. You hear about these terrible helicopter accidents but uh yeah for some reason they just don't seem like they should work but uh they do um still might get up in one one day but well, that was carl's trip to brazil uh with that if you guys out there have any other videos or anything you want me to check out please feel free to put it down in the comments and like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content that helps me out and once again until next time Thanks for tuning in.